What's good everyone, welcome back to another video. Before we get into it, hitting that like button and subscribe button would be very appreciated. We are close to 500 subscribers so it would mean a lot if you guys hit that sub button. It only takes one second to hit it, especially if you guys really enjoy Resident Evil content. But with that out of the way, let's get into this video's topic. This is definitely going to be my last video about this thing until Capcom either releases a trailer and or reveals the Resident Evil Village DLC. Fans have been patiently waiting for this thing to be revealed and we have gotten zero info or zero teases to the DLC which should release before the summer unless Capcom goes balls out with this and creates and launches more than one or two DLCs. But there were a lot of times we thought Capcom was going to reveal a trailer to the RE Village DLC and I'm pretty sure everyone is aware of this but Capcom did confirm a DLC is happening. I don't know why I had to say that but I mean hey, I just wanted to throw it out there. But. Nonetheless, here is all the events on when we expected to at least see a DLC trailer for Resident Evil Village. I may be saying that word a lot in this video, so please be aware of that. Video Game Awards 2021 For me, this was the event that Capcom should have revealed the DLC, and it would have been the perfect timing. When the Game Awards was airing, Capcom was playing a good part in terms of nominations and winning awards. Maggie Robertson won Best Performance Award with voice acting Lamy Dimitrescu. Resident Evil 4 won Best VR Game of the Year, and Resident Evil Village was nominated for Game of the Year. It just seemed right to reveal the DLC, but there was no reveal and I was left a little disappointed. And I'm pretty sure I can speak for almost a lot of Resident Evil fans in general with that. Now, there are some gaming events... Oh shit, hold on a second, I forgot about one other thing. The Capcom Countdown. When this thing first released... I personally, and I think a lot of people thought it was going to be something else that was Resident Evil related as we expected the Resident Evil Village DLC to be revealed and also a possible announcement of a Resident Evil 4 remake. It was one of the two. But as time progressed, we all knew it was a Street Fighter related announcement as it turned out to be Street Fighter 6. You could tell us Resident Evil fans definitely jumped the gun and didn't think it was nothing but Resident Evil stuff. And I will put myself into that category as I jumped the gun as I made a whole video speculating what the countdown could be for, so my apologies for that. Now, moving on to this part. Now, there are some gaming events happening like a PlayStation State of Play sometime in March, but there is zero confirmation that Capcom will be there, so that is extremely up in the air at this moment. Another thing we should also consider is the special message Capcom is supposed to announce on March 22nd. I believe it is around that realm, I could totally be wrong, somewhere around there. Could this message be a DLC reveal or could it just be something like a Resident Evil Portal update? We will never know until it gets revealed. Now here comes my predictions for this DLC and when it will be released. The safest prediction I could think of is between the months of March and May. E3 2022 will be a virtual online event that will take place in June of 2022, so I would at least expect the DLC to be released before E3, unless Capcom wants the wants to at least reveal it at E3 along with other things like our reverse then I will gladly take it but if it does ruin the possibility of a Resident Evil 4 remake reveal at the time but nonetheless we shall see what happens I've said this multiple times in my previous videos and if they announce RE4 remake is happening before the DLC is even revealed or released the hype of this DLC will die down and it will all go to Resident Evil 4 remake which is obvious that it is a bigger and more serious project comparing it to a DLC, but I don't believe Capcom will do that. I believe they will do they will release the DLC before even thinking about the RE4 remake, and that is why I predict the DLC will release around the months of March and May. But who really knows at this point? We will just have to wait and see and see when Capcom finally makes that decision. And making some or should I say a lot of Resident Evil fans extremely happy that the DLC didn't get cancelled or anything like that. And for the people that think that the DLC got cancelled, it didn't. Capcom would have at least told us, and it's heavily fan requested, so they wouldn't do something like that at all. But, that is the end of today's very, very short video. Um, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please uh, leave a like on the video and hit the subscribe button. And uh, comment down below, when do you guys think the DLC will at least be released? Uh, do you think there will be more than one DLC? Will there be more than two DLCs? What do you think would be the best timing for it to be revealed? Let me know all about that in the comment section down below. Uh, once again, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're very close to 500 subs. It'd be very, very appreciated. I hope you guys have yourselves a good day, a good night, and a good sleep. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and much love.